Hello, my name's Al Ackerman. Welcome to the channel. If you like card magic, you are in the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now today I'm going to be doing a trilogy of three effects that you can do from a borrowed shuffle deck. Let's take a look. All right, Stefan, what I want you to do is to uh, shuffle the heck out of those cards. Mix them all up. And we're going to do a trick with two sets of four of a kind. All right, so let's check these out. Make sure we got a good, good mix up there, all right? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use, uh, start off using tens. I'm going to use the tens. I'm going to get out the four tens from uh, this pack here. So I'm going to find them here. So there's one, here's two, here's three, and someplace in here, there's our fourth ten. And that's it. No other tens in the deck. Now, one of these suits is very, very special, and it's the heart suit, okay? Yep. Now, I'm gonna go through these cards, and we're gonna get out the jacks. I'm gonna get out our four jacks here. So let's get out, and there's one. We got two more, two, three, and I, oh, here it's on, right there at the top. Okay, so we got our four, our four jacks. Now, I said the uh, heart suit was a little bit special, and let me show you why. So we got our jacks here, and we've got our four tens, yep. four tens. So we've got our jack of diamonds, our jack of clubs, our jack of spades, and right there's our jack of hearts. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a row of our jacks here. Mark that with the heart. And then we're going to do the same thing with our tens. Mark the row of our tens with the ten of hearts. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to switch these two cards. And if I get a little static electricity on the jack, mm -hmm. it makes it magnetic and all attracts all the like values. Check this out. All the tens, all the jacks. Now, uh -huh. believe it or not, this actually works for every heart in this deck. Every heart has this property. And I'm going to prove that for you right here. So let's uh, try this again. So I've got my four jacks right here. Spades, diamonds, clubs, and hearts. And we also have our four, four tens. And we're going to do the same thing that we just did a second ago. I'll make a row of tens, and we'll make a row of our jacks. Now some people, oh, before we start, I want you to cut those cards wherever you want. Okay, and we're going to mark the cut, right where you cut. I want you to switch those, because some people think I cheat. Just put a little magnetic charge on that 10, and value always follows suit. Now, I said it worked for every heart in the deck. So right here where you cut, I'm going to grab the first heart that we come to. First heart that we come to. Ah, there it is, nine of hearts. And I'm gonna switch the nine of hearts, put the jack of hearts right where you cut. Just put a little magnetic charge on that nine of hearts and it attracts all the like values. And right here where you just cut, check this out. There's our four jacks. So we're gonna shuffle these guys up. Let's mix these guys up a little bit. Get them good and shuffled. Here, let's shuffle those in the pack. Get them all confused. And we'll do the same thing with our jacks. Let's shuffle those into this deck. Give them a good mix. All right, now, this round, I'm gonna do something with our aces and our queens. Aces and queens, so give this a good mix. And we're gonna run through here. I'm gonna get out our four aces along with our four ladies in the pack. Two more gals in here someplace. And that that's 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 it. That's all we've got right here. Alright. Okay, so give these a mix. And so I've got my clubs, my diamonds, my spade, and my heart 
here on our queens, and then the other four cards I have are our four high values, yeah. the aces, the aces of the uh, deck. So two sets of four of a kind. We've got our ladies, and we've got our aces. Now I'm going to start with our four, four ladies, and I'll place the uh, aces over here for the time being, right over there. All right, now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take each one of my gals right here, and I'm going to place this gal right here in my pants pocket. See her there? Yeah. And that leaves me with uh, three. All right, so I'm going to take yeah. this gal, put her in this pocket right there. So two in the pocket. I still have two right here in the hand. Mm -hmm. This queen, she's going to go right here in my front shirt pocket right there. Now that leaves me with one gal plus my four aces. Mm -hmm. Now that's five cards. Four and one make five. Yes. I don't have five pockets, but I do have two shirt sleeves. I've got a right shirt sleeve and I have a left shirt sleeve or suit jacket sleeve. Right. Where should I put the last queen, right or left? In the left. In the left. So you hold on to these four. I'm going to take that queen of diamonds, goes right up the left sleeve here. Got my watch <laughs> there. Now, you know what's better than having a queen of diamonds up the sleeve? What's that? Uh, it would be having an ace up the sleeve. Jeez. And right here, now in each of my pockets, what? I got our four aces wow. right here. And see what you're holding on to right there. What do you got? Oh, you got our four ladies. That was awesome. that was four good. ladies. Well, I tell you what, let's uh, do this one more time. We're going to shuffle these cards. All right, get them all mixed up. That was great. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to ditch each one of these aces into a different place in this deck. So there's a heart, my spade, my diamond, and there's the club. So I'll put one ace right here, one ace here, one ace here, one ace here, and we're going to bury these four guys down into the depths of this deck. All right, so these get shuffled. Now, Stephen, Stephen, I want you to say the word stop. I'm going to define high card to be 10, jack, queen, king, or ace. Sure. And when you say stop, what we'll do is we're going to use the first high card we come to. So we're shuffling the heck. You cut and shuffle these cards, right? Sure. At the very beginning, yeah. right? So anytime you want, say stop. Let's do one more. One more. That's good? That's good. All right, we're going to use the first high card we come to. First high card, up oh, there it is, a king. So I'm going to use all four of the kings. I'll show you how a card sheet can uh, work a card game just by manipulating these four kings. Now the first step he does is he gets the good hand to the bottom of the deck. Now you might say that's a uh, hard procedure. But in a friendly game, the deal rotates from player to player. So if it's my turn to deal and I'm the cheat, this guy's got trips, this guy's got a pair, I just scoop up, get a full house, put it right there on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Now watch how he shuffles these cards. He doesn't do a very good job, but it's a real shuffle. He just shuffles and he keeps those four kings right there on the bottom. Mm -hmm. But that was a real shuffle. But obviously I'm all set to go there. Now, you get to cut. He just picks up, completes the cut, haphazardly, nobody pays any attention, I just put the kegs right back on the bottom. Now, we're gonna deal out a five-handed game. And this is the oldest move in the business, you'll probably see me do it, but it's called a, a subway deal or a bottom deal. So there's three, here's number four, and here's number five. And those kings are gone, I dealt all four of them to myself, right there. Now we're going to try this again, but I'm going to do a little more advanced technique. I'm going to ditch these kings in four different spots here in the pack, mess up that whole hand so you can see them all lost in the center of this deck. And we're going to kind of gather all these together and we are going to uh, mix the heck out of these cards. And this particular technique is called a run up or a stack. You've probably heard of that term before. But we're using the power of mathematics to set everything up. I can even cut the cards. And now when I deal them out, I don't have to bother doing a bottom deal. 
everything's right off the top. I could even let the spectator deal. All of these cards are coming right off the top. They're not off the bottom, are they, Steve? Stuff it. Right. No, they're right off the top. You probably got an idea what I just did here, right? But if I go to all that work to get this really great hand, and these guys don't have anything, they're just going to fold. Right. So I have to give everybody some incentive. So I gave this guy some pretty good incentive here. Yeah, check this out. I gave him four nines. He's going to hang in there, at least get a pot up to 100 bucks with a hand like this. Sure. And this guy's going to raise because he's got four tens. He's thinking he can't lose. And this guy's going to go crazy. He's going to get that pot up at least to 500 bucks with four jacks. And this guy's going to go wild because he knows he can't lose. He's going to bet his car, his boat, everything because he's got those four ladies. But Stefan, sometimes I get bored with those kings and I like to give myself oh, the four oh, aces. Very good. Beautiful. Wow. Very That's nice. Fine. Amazing. That's the first I've ever seen you oh. I saw you with the queens in your car. Then all of a sudden they were all aces. Okay, we're good. What the hell Fantastic. Was that? And you were a palmer. Uh, no palming in that routine. Uh, no, really? no palming. I mean, maybe you know. I don't know how to start. That's just no, that was beautiful. Well done. That's the best I've ever seen. That's great. Hey, if you like the sequence, give it a thumbs up. Now, this is a combination of three effects. The first effect is my handling of Marlowe's Aces Over Kings from the Spade Book. And the second routine is uh, my version of uh, pocket interchange. I called it the easy exchange. And the third effect I published uh, way back when in the early 2000s, my one man parade for the Linky Ring. And I called it the ultimate Gardner Marlowe poker deal. So if you'd like to see another trilogy, uh, I called it the Royal Marriage Trilogy. Click on that link right over there. And if you love ungimmicked, Ungaff card magic, just pure sleight of hand. Make sure you click on subscribe right over there. My name's Al Ackerman, and I hope to catch you the next time.